Hey, it's Barry White here. Welcome back to Battlefield 3. Hi. <laughs> it is me, guys. Um, as you can tell, my voice is a little bit different today because I'm not very well. <laughs> In fact, I'm sick. And uh, my voice, consequently, now sounds like this, which potentially could be good or bad. But I don't know. Does it sound awesome? You'd be like, yeah, yeah, let's play some Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so get prepared for deep voice looting through this whole video. Um, I'm not even exaggerating, seriously, this is how my voice sounds today. Um, but I thought it would be fun to make a video nonetheless. So, I'm talking today about Battlefield 3. Um, now, I've seen a few people comment that with the release of Hardline, a lot of the, let's say, more creative players will be moving obviously on to the next game and then hey suddenly battlefield 4 is gonna be left with like the the hardcore true battlefield players right right so i decided to roll back to battlefield 3 and test this theory and i test now obviously okay obviously what we're looking for is a general trend okay we're looking for you know something that says hey yeah you know people are not following the same errors that you see all the time in Battlefield 4 people staying back people not working together as a team people not supporting each other's squads that's the kind of thing that you're looking for right well I played about five games and I gotta tell you that that is bollocks <laughs> it is just as bad um, anybody that tells you different is an idealistic liar okay it's a load of crap. So don't expect the game to become this sunshine. Did you know what as well? Like I actually, when I was thinking about it this week, was thinking, hey, you know, that sounds pretty, pretty reasonable. Like it makes a lot of sense. You know, everybody moves on, and then the people who really want to play the game, you know, they're going to stay. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. You know, some people may not buy the game straight away. Some people just maybe don't have any interest in the game, and you know, so there's nothing to say that the kind of people that really get on your nerves in games are going to go away. They're going to still be there, sitting in the base walking past you, not supporting, and like throwing away vehicles. They're going to be there all day long. Anyway, so we're looking at you. I, I picked one of the rounds that was most interesting out of the ones that I played. And we're here on Firestorm. And this one had so many moments. Like, to begin with, you know, I thought, okay, I was trying, you know, like, okay, let's work together. Let's move for the objectives. Trying to do what I always do. I was just trying to, I was playing solo, so nobody I knew on this one. Uh, actually, Fridge did drop in. He's one of my uh, guys from VG. Uh, but you'll notice that Fridge doesn't really work together with me. He's actually sniping, which I was kind of annoyed about. I think he didn't really get the premise of what it was I was trying to do. However, it did actually hilariously highlight the point that uh, people just do whatever they want and not interested in uh, sort of working together. I think he did actually help me out a couple of times, but um, overall, we weren't sort of team playing it together which would have been better um, but in my defense I didn't ask him to do that because I was just playing whatever um, anyway so yeah I was just literally just trying to work for the objectives to move around just doing the kind of stuff that I always do and you know it was ridiculous the other thing as well is I'm going to say something controversial here right attack helicopters now attack helicopters do need a little bit of a change uh, but loads of people have said like oh yeah yeah attack helis you know they should be like they were in battlefield 3 no Okay, no, seriously. Look at what the helicopter does through this round. He just sits max range, max height, TV missiling people and shooting anything that comes near. It is such a load of bullshit, seriously. It was so irritating. And you might think, yeah, well, that's kind of helping the team. It is, kind of, in a way. But at the same time, it's like not helping the team because there's a lot of targets on the ground that he came nowhere near to hitting only targeting those things that were out in the open that you can actually get onto, you know? So it wasn't really helping overall at all. Um, but here was the thing, even though actually the game I thought went pretty well overall, people were moving forwards, taking out targets, getting onto bases, and the same, I played, but you know, there were other games we played which were just, again, total steamrolls. Um, we played a Caspian border, and as try as I might, I was trying to flank cap bases, our guys would just not move. They just wouldn't move. They wouldn't engage. And then the game, you know, when they were engaging, they were losing. I mean, and again, not to be rude and not trying to say that this is what it's all about. But honestly, half my team were at least a sort of, you know, zero to sometimes like 12 KD, four to 20 KD. 
in total frank terms, they were getting their asses handed to them. And I say this was a good two thirds of my team. So, you know, it just doesn't hold up that you get the quality players, you know, the hardcore, the people that know the game remain. That just doesn't stack up from what I've played. Now, you know, we always have bad days and good days. Maybe I caught the game on a bad day. Maybe on another day, I would have had five or six games of full-on constructive gameplay. But the point is, the point is that basically the way people have been sort of commenting that I have seen is that like, yes, you know, when the new game comes out, the people that don't understand what they should be doing or the people that don't enjoy that kind of gameplay will move away and you'll be left with the kind of core players. It just doesn't stack up for me um, and I don't expect that we're going to see this with Battlefield 4. So again, just saying don't want to be a downer but unfortunately you know I wanted to investigate this I wanted to try and find out I wanted to put this video together so that I could say like hey look you know people talk about this a lot but here's how it's actually going to be from my experience I don't think you're going to see any kind of change whatsoever when Hardline comes along and you shouldn't expect to um, it doesn't mean to say that you won't get objective games or that you won't get good games or very fun you know sort of balanced games but you know the sad thing is I think I've been chasing this idealistic dream for a long time now. Um, in fact, far, far back, you know, back through previous Battlefield games. Um, I, I do think that they, things used to be a little bit different, mainly down to the, as I've said before, player counts. That's the big thing. The fact that so many people play the game now, it just means that the, the percentage of players who are, you know, not interested in sort of really playing the objective uh, are just so far decreased now that it, it just can't be compensated. And I just don't think that anything is really going to change that. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I try to be positive and I try to encourage people to play the objective and I try to sort of do what I can to, to get that moving forward and promote that and, and say, like, hey, look, this is the most important thing. But I think overall it's just not going to change. Um, but, as I say, the main interesting thing for me was that I came into Battlefield 3 expecting to see some people, like, really playing hard, you know, even if they weren't necessarily... I guess, being the most objective players, I thought I would see people playing the game hard. People that would understand the game, people that would know like where they needed to be, what they should be doing, etc, etc. And as I say, it just didn't seem to happen. Um, there just wasn't really any evidence of that. Um, my team actually were doing fine this round, it was actually going real good. Um, but despite that fact, it still felt like at times, I mean, as you can see, you know, we're, we're kind of winning and we did win the round. Um, but there were just many times where it could have totally gone awry, where we got total, you know, we got full capped and pushed back to the base. And it was only through the help of, like, myself and a couple of other guys who flanked and capped bases, you know, getting the buggies, driving up, taking out the helis, etc., etc., and all this kind of stuff. And thanks to that, we were able to move around and sort of get a foothold back in the game. But if it hadn't have been for that, I have no doubt whatsoever that we would have been pushed back to the spawn and totally capped. The guys on the other team were good. They were getting a lot of kills. They were putting the fire down. They were pushing the objectives as well. They weren't sitting back. They were getting in the mix. Um, so it was just interesting to see how that went down. And it was interesting that from playing Battlefield 3, um, it felt like Battlefield 4. Like, I, I, I just could imagine the same kind of feeling of movement, ebb and flow, capping bases, flanking. It didn't play out any different from Battlefield 4. So I don't see that we're going to see anything different when Hardline comes with Battlefield 4. I don't think that it's going to suddenly be like this magic day where suddenly, you know, every game is full of people helping each other out, playing the objective, getting hard on the enemy, focusing those kills. It's just like, I don't see it. You know, I don't see it. So if you hear from anybody else saying like, oh, it's going to be a new day when Hardline comes for Battlefield 4, it's bullshit. Yeah, don't believe it. It's not going to happen. And again, people say, oh, you're so negative, Luty. I'm not being negative. I'm just being realistic, okay? I've played this game today. I've played it before. In fact, a couple of friends were playing the other day. And they said the same thing, okay? It's just realistic. Don't expect that things are going to change just because a few players move on. Because... I think it's just an inherent issue with FPS. FPS is good in one respect because you can just jump on and play. And um, this actually relates to something that I've been thinking about a lot. And I was actually talking to um, another producer the other evening about. Is that, you know, I, I, I've said before many times, and I'm, I know I always talk about it. I know, I know, I know. But I, I do, I miss World of Warcraft a lot. Uh, I miss that game a lot because what the guild that I was in, it, it was just, you know, everybody knew what they were doing. You know, everybody knew what they were doing. And even now in clans and things that I've been in, you know, you still get a real mix of people. You have people that totally know what they're doing and are really good, and other people that just don't know what day it is. And I say, it, it all comes from that, you know, do you want to play hardcore? Do you want to play sort of down the middle? Now, I've always been the kind of player that, for me, it's like all or nothing. You know, you, you play to win or nothing. And so for me, I get very, very frustrated when 
it's just you don't have people that are interested in that whatsoever you know and uh, as much as i sort of try to encourage people and try to do this a lot of the time it just doesn't happen um i think sometimes as well like i've said i try to take the weight of the game on my shoulders too much i try to do too much and it's like you can't do that you have to just play your role and that's kind of what i ended up doing in this game in these rounds i was just playing my role i was like okay i'm going to try and do this and if it doesn't happen anywhere else i wasn't trying to like protect every single thing on the map i wasn't trying to sort of win the game myself i was just trying to like do what i could and then hope that the rest of the team would you know follow on and stack up and support and you know for the most part i think that actually did happen um so it really just varies and of course it varies game to game and it depends when you're playing what time you're playing a bit of luck you know all these things it really varies a lot but i think overall just the the, the idealistic premise that by hardline coming out battlefield 4 is going to become like you know 50 percent better game in terms of the people playing it just doesn't stack up you know so drop your thoughts below interested to hear what you guys think um i say you know sorry for, to be a bit of a downer today but honestly i just it, it just that's how it played out i'm not going to lie to you and say like yeah it's going to be amazing you can't wait for the new game it's going to be oh it's going to be so good battlefield 4 is going to be amazing it's going to be the best 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 oh epic epic game no okay look it's just not it's just going to be the same okay um so keep your feet on the ground keep it real and uh, let's just keep taking those objectives. Alright guys, see you next time more Battlefield.